Can all of the females in the audience please stand up and listen very closely? I know that at least one of you each day is told I know that at least one of you each day is told by someone that you can't do something simply because you're a girl. Don't listen to those people. For such a long time in America, women's rights have been a struggle. And they've improved, but definitely have not been fixed. Does anyone still standing know what the date August 1920 has to do with women's rights? You can all sit down and let me explain. Sometimes when I look at the changes our government is making, I get angry and I wish I had a say in things. But I know that when I turn 18, I will. Before August 1920, I would have never even thought of this as an op option because women did not have the right to vote, not at any age. But after almost 100 years of protest from women such as Susan B. Anthony and Elizabeth Cady Stanton, the law was finally passed that granted women the ability to vote. But why do I care? Why does this matter to me so much? Voting means that you have a say in the way your country is run. Did you know that only 60% of eligible voters in the US choose to vote? That means the other 40% of eligible voters decide not to vote, leaving them with no say in what happens to our country. That 40% have no say in who runs or what happens to our country. Parents, teachers, all adults in the audience, I want you to listen this time and hear me out. Women. If you compared your paycheck to those of a man with the exact same job as you, you would notice that you only get paid 78 to 82 percent of what that man gets paid. My word for this is wrong, just wrong. A woman with an associate's degree on average would earn $43,000 a year, whereas a man with just a high school diploma would earn $47,000 a year. A woman with a master's degree or higher would earn $83,000 a year, whereas a man with just a bachelor's degree would earn $87,000 a year. I am America, or at least most of it. I can see all of you looking at me like, what does she mean? Well, let me explain. America is 51% female. That means America is only 49% male. If you don't understand that, well, let me put it in a ratio. That's about 100 females for every 95 males. I know that this is a bit of a weird analogy, but think of it like this. America is three people, one man and two women. Think of cookies as rights, freedoms, and everything that you're glad to have as an American. What if the government gave all those cookies to that man, leaving the majority of the population, women in this case, without any freedoms or rights? Sometimes when I try to do something that involves math or science, the boys come over and try to do it for me as if I don't know how. Whenever I tell them that I want to be a bionic limb developer when I grow up, they roll their eyes and they huff. You know what I tell those boys? I tell them that I have the right to be me. I have the right to be whatever I want because I am equal. I am female. I am America.